Hello guys, welcome back to Aero Console in uh, Info Game Update. In ages, we haven't seen the update of this game, but now here it come, new update with new resident. Oh my goodness, what do you think? He's super hot. I'm so speechless after I saw him. He's so breathtaking. Full game unlock, enjoy the game. Yes, literally full game right now. Wait. A hundred thousand hearts? Wow, that's, that's a lot, but well, I need them anyway. Ooh, 20 of each item, wow. And wait, a heart? Gold heart? Oh, and also, oh, and we also have another update. I mean, another event. But we'll talk about it after we get to know this hot bad boy first. Bad boy? Why? Oh, the name is... Tuan, 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 Tuan. Well, depends on his origin. You got a new resident. Congratulations. Anyway, anyhow, just let the event slide for now. We have business here with our new resident. I'm so excited, and he's kind of my type. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh, you can't. Oh my hole! That's the best sex I've ever had. Tuan, you're a sex machine. I figured we did last night, so can you leave now? Oh my, he looks so good and look at these veins, my goodness, only just his arms, not to mention other parts of his body. Eh? Don't you want to have breakfast together or something? <sighs> I don't eat with strangers. Ouch. We've been hooking up for months. I know we're just friends with benefits, but that's gonna be more than strangers, Tuan. Yeah. Okay, Steve, or whoever you are, you can stay. Just don't talk to me. My name is Freckle. Thanks. <sighs> this is just the beginning, guys. Just introduction. But we already see the scene. Hmm. If your thing was a gun, I'd be happy to put it in my mouth and pull the trigger. Huh? That sounds kind of not right. Tuan, can you please stop saying things like that? Hey, Tuan, wanna hear a pickup line I just came up with? No. Just pick your butt off the floor and get over here, so I can pound you. I'm surprised to know that I'm your only friend with benefits. What gifts? You're not the most good looking, nor the best in sex. You're not my type either. Yeah. You're just the current one. You're not much of a talker, are you? If only I could say the same about you. Huh? What does that mean? <sighs> Smoking kills, you know? Sure hope it does. <sighs> One cigarette closer to death. Are you doing anything later? Yeah. You. I was going to ask to hang out, but that works too. Hey, you. Shake the butt for me. I'm bored to death. What are you reading about? Topology. <laughs> Good one. I should get my hands on some botomology books then. Huh? Topology is a branch of mathematics. Uh, I see. You shouldn't fall for me if you can't help it. What a deluxe room. I'm guessing the expensive looking car in the parking lot belongs to you too, right? <laughs> That's right. Be good and then I let you ride me on my ride. <coughs> You're in my kitchen. Ah yes, I'm thinking about making some breakfast for both of us. 
Strange though, I can't find any ingredients in your place. There's no eggs, no bread, no milk, no cereal. I found plenty of white bottles lying around, but that's it. <sighs> it's my apartment. You don't have to tell me, wasn't it? Then what do you eat for breakfast? There should be some coffee or tea at least. No, I don't have any of those. Oh, I know. Oh my god, I should have arrived sooner. You're on an intermittent fasting diet. Same here. Hey, bestie. Huh? No. <sighs> Sorry, I just want to lighten up the mood. We just had passionate sex last night, yet you seem so cold now. I guess you would be tired from all the work we did. So I just wanted to do my best for you to have a good day. Yeah. If that's what you want to do, then stop. I'm good. Is there anything else I can do? Hmm. Okay, I'll just head home. Morning sex. Yeah. That's how I start my day. What? Uh, 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 you can't. Ah, <sighs> guys, this is just the first star, and it's already so tempting like this. Wow, what's with those piles of paper on your coffee table? <sighs> Nothing. But do not touch them, not till I'm done with them. That looks like math. Are those test papers? Oh my god, I'm having a headache just looking at those numbers. Wed, what do you do? I'm a mathematics teacher. <laughs> Not that it's a sexy job that you would care about. You a math teach? That's unexpected. Well, I can't say it's a sexy job, but since it's you, I can imagine a bunch of horny students in your class. You know, I studied math back in high school. If you were my teacher, I would suck my way through for real. I figured. <coughs> now tell me, what's 34 plus 35? Um, the answer is so obvious, but should we answer it wrong? Because... We might get punished, but I prefer 69, so... <laughs> Correct. Then you know what to do. Uh-uh-uh. You can't. Wow, that 34-35 was so hard and mouthful. <laughs> As the control manager, I must ask you not to smoke inside the apartment. What if you trigger the smoke detector? <sighs> Hello? Are you ignoring me? Chuan, I just want what's good for you. <sighs> You're too loud. What? Why do you care like you have anything to do with me? It's literally my business for the safety of the building. Six. Just say you want it. You don't have to act coy. You know I would give it to you when you say the word. <laughs> right, John? No, I I was just doing my job. I'm not asking you for sex. Please don't change the subject. My name is Frankel, by the way. You were breathing just fine when we went down your throat. Now that I'm not having sex with you anymore, you're coughing and complaining. Why are you bringing that into this? You're making me sound like a strumpet. Not that I'd mind being one. Cut the act. I know we both want it. <laughs> Get down. Why am I doing this again? Just like every other time. Uh, 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 you can't. I know he's using sense for distraction, yet 
Somehow I find myself stuck in this loop again and again. Yes, these are just the first star and we are in the loop again and again. So there are gonna be more? Let's find out. Bar, liquor, wine and everything on ice. These were the ingredients chosen to create the perfect little bar. Also most of the bottles have been emptied out by Tuan. Hi, can I use your kitchen for a moment? <sighs> you use it anyway even if I said no. Oh, you know me so well, Tuan. I brought some stuff to cook us a meal. <laughs> Funny, I'm the owner of the apartment and yet I have no idea who'd come inside my house to do what. <coughs> I only agreed to let you come here for sex. You can use the restroom for an cleaning. Please keep your hands off any other place. Come on, it's not like you ever used the cooking area. I can tell from how brand new everything is. It's giving IKEA. Except my butt print from the other day. Still there on the granite counter surface. Yep. It's my kitchen. And it's me who decides how it's going to be used. It's also you who never cook at home or eat anything homemade. That can't be good for your health. Eat some homemade food once in a while, please. <sighs> None of your business. No wonder why you've been pardoning me weak lately. You know, like, you can't get it hard enough. Uh. Excuse me? It's not like I care or anything, but just so you know, you are what you eat. Your semen is getting bitter, your stamina is dropping by the minute, you finish quicker. I want to improve your health by changing your eating habit, so I don't have to fake an orgasm anymore. Win-win? If you want my kitchen that bad, you can freaking have it. Whatever you cook will turn out even worse than the insult you threw at me anyway. Tee <laughs> sorry no sorry. It was the only way I could get to you. So what would you like to eat? I'll prepare it right away. <laughs> you. Ah. Of course. Well, I guess somebody's gotta eat all this cake. Yeah. Take those clothes off and get your butt over here. Screw you and your silly meal. Mm-hmm. Let's see if you can screw me harder than the last time. Oh, I just thought we were gonna see another scene. Huh, what did I expect? Parlor. Tuan's high-class living space where one can enjoy the finest things in life. It's also home to Aerocondo's most breathtaking view of the city from dusk to dawn. You're grading your students' work on the time. Doesn't it get boring? <sighs> As you can see, yes. What about me? What grade would you give me? <laughs> A solid 4. A four? I'm a seven at the very least. <sighs> you asked for it, so don't complain. You're disrupting my work. I'm disrupting your work? Please, I can see the pawn playing on your phone. That's gotta be more distracting than whatever I'm doing right now. It's just background noise to help me focus on work. I've made it a habit. Your volume, however, is too loud to be considered background noise. You call watching porn in the middle of work a habit? Yeah. To each their own. In any case, I'm not used to having talkative people in my workspace. Well, I like being around people outside of work. My friends, my boss, myself, 
And you too, of course. Oh, well, good for you. <laughs> All I care about is sex. So you either have sex with me right now, or let me work in silence. Is that really all there is in your mind? Come on, there's gotta be something else. I can't believe you're a porn addict. <sighs> I just said it, but you denied it. Because it didn't fit your concept of living. In your eyes, everybody is friends. Happy together with you at the center of everything. Not everyone considers your colleague friends. They can be enemies at best. They don't confuse friends with benefits with lovers either. I believe I drew the lie pretty clear. You're the one who keeps constantly blurring it. Blah. I wouldn't be surprised to know that you also got led with your boss, your security staff, and other residents. How do you know? I... It's your way of getting things and it worked, so you kept doing it until you got what you wanted. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry to break it to you, but you're in my room, where we'll be playing by my rules. You're bugging me for no particular reason aside from boredom. <laughs> then I'm bored too. Entertain me. I'm just trying to chat. <sighs> I don't do small talk. Yeah. If you want to chat, we can do it while you're having sex. Then I can be as verbal as you want. <laughs> now get your butt over here. I need a hole to dump my load. Okay. Okay, half red girl. You just complained to him about his porn addiction. And now you obey him so easily. Bedroom. A bedroom on the second story of a duplex with ample luxury items is a very definition of modern life. It smells of coffee and cigarettes. <coughs> Don't you have other places to be? Well, I do have a few errands to run, but it's not like I'm in a hurry or anything. That's why I have the time to take a look at your place. I've been here a few times, but I still don't know much about you. The only thing you should know about me is how to please my body. Come on, Tuan, don't be so stuck up. I'm curious about the room I had banker sex in, that's all. <sighs> that's why I like to keep it as empty as possible. If you have nothing to do, how about another round of sex? Tuan, nature is healing, so is my whole. Please give it time. We just had sex like animals 5 minutes ago. My bud is bearing you lot right now. If they launch an investigation into my bud, they will find the hot, fresh semen of yours. They will trace back to the exact date and time of their penetration. <sighs> Again with the talking. Just tell me if you want to do it or not. No. Then leave after wiping the mess. Relax, what are you so grumpy for? How could you kick me out like that after we were so intimate with each other? You know, maybe take care of your bottom, cuddle me for a while, sweet talk to me even though it's a lie but at least you tried. There's nothing intimate about it. I was horny and you were available. We were close, that's all. We are friends with benefits. We are just together for sex and nothing else. <sighs> Everyone's going off after they are done scrubbing each other. So you should take it from them and do the same. The culture is how we set it to be. There's no laws or rules for how it goes. It's not like you've got to become my boyfriend. I'm just asking for some kindness between human beings or individuals among the community. Is that too much? Each relationship is different. Why take after other people's? Don't you have your own ideas of what we could be? 
Don't you want to have it your way? <laughs> If I had it my way, you'd be stuck in your bathtub for another round, nothing else. So don't get any funny ideas about a relationship between us. You hear me? Boo! Such a mood killer. I was just playing with you, you know. Or was I? <sighs> I'd rather you save that energy and use it in handling sex. You're still a bit too vanilla in that department. <gasps> Did you just call me vanilla? Yeah. For the whipped cream. Just get home. I expect better the next time I call you here. The rules of friend with benefits are so strict. But can't you stay being friend with benefits with Freckle? That is what we're gonna find out. Well, thank you so much for watching. See you again on the next video and hope you enjoy the breakfast sex. <laughs> bye bye. If you want to watch more videos, so hit the like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to ring the bell. <laughs>